What's up, Internet? I've been spending a lot of time away from keyboard and that's why a lot of our most recent videos have been shot, well, kung saan-saan na lang. But I still need to be able to work even if I'm on the go and doing things on a phone is just a pain in the behind. So that means buying a laptop. Now the problem is, the last time I got a laptop was around 10 years ago and I don't follow the specifications, the new models, new features. Laptops are like a whole different world from desktops. So I really had to research what would be good for my needs. And you really need to set goals when buying a laptop because they're not as versatile as desktops. You need to be clear on what you want the laptop to do and whether you have the budget in place to get a machine that can do that. So my primary purpose for this laptop is for work and that means a lot of browsers open with a lot of tabs between those browsers as well as MS Word and Excel. Also, I wanted to use it for media consumption so it has to be a laptop with a nice screen for watching YouTube and other types of videos. So definitely not a laptop for gaming and not a laptop for editing. If you are interested in laptops that are good for editing, wait another week. We do have a video coming out on that as well. So taking into mind my primary consideration, what I need the laptop for, I settled on the ASUS VivoBook S14 Flip OLED. This is not a sponsored video. I purchased this laptop with my own money and ASUS doesn't even know we're coming out with a video on this laptop. Do you know what's also useful and quite affordable? Getting rid of that pesky watermark by obtaining an original and discounted Windows product key from our sponsor, CD Key Offer. Step one, click on the link in our video description corresponding to the version of Windows you want. I'll select Windows 10 Pro. Step two, make an account with CD Key Offer. Step three, add to cart. Use our discount code HS20 and you'll receive a 25% discount. Basic tech specs first, the CPU is a Ryzen 5500H with 8GB of RAM and 500GB of SSD space. Now the very first thing I did, as in literally the very first thing, was add 16GB of RAM. And I had our guys in the shop do that. Yes, Hardware Sugar now works on laptops. We can do laptop cleanings and basic upgrades. And our very first guinea pig for that service was my new laptop. If I trust the guys in the shop to work on my own personal items, then I trust them to work on the items of customers. All of these tech specs translate into a very smooth experience for what I needed to do. When I say multiple tabs, I'm talking around 10 tabs in two instances of Firefox Open with Microsoft Word and Excel running as well. So given that workload, the laptop performed flawlessly, still very snappy and responsive. To be honest, I was a little scared that the CPU, which is just mid-range, wouldn't be able to keep up with everything. But I'm happy to report that I have no complaints about it. Programs load quickly and Windows Explorer is responsive. There's no sluggishness at all, hindi mo nararamdaman na nahihirapan yung laptop. Adding a lot to that perception of speed is the keyboard, which is quite responsive. Now, this is the standard modern keyboard of ASUS, which you can find in a lot of their laptops now. You can bang out text as fast as you can, and it will keep pace with you. The sound of the keys is a little loud, so a little jarring if you're in a quiet place like a library or a quiet cafe, but nothing says productive more than the tick 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 of the keys does kind of encourage you to keep going faster, keep typing at a blazing speed. The keys are raised enough that you do get some tactile feedback along with the visual feedback of seeing the words and letters appearing on screen. The keys are also a decent size, so I'm confident enough that I'm pressing the right key without having my large fingers hitting the keys beside them accidentally. As is standard also with most laptops, the function keys double up a shortcut. So you need to increase or decrease the brightness of the screen, turn your media to mute, disable the trackpad, disable the camera. All of these things have already been mapped out to the function keys. And while not unique to ASUS, certainly the implementation on this laptop is quite useful. And I find myself using the hotkeys, the function keys all the time. One thing that is uncommon to this laptop is the built-in number pad into the trackpad. You just need to press a corner of the trackpad and the numbers light up. 
As I mentioned, this is for work and we do deal with a lot of numbers here at Hardware Sugar, mostly because I'm trying to figure out how come the shop hasn't made money up to now. And having a number pad built in is useful. It's not a gimmick. It is faster to input numbers even if it is a virtual number pad. Use our discount code HS20 and you'll receive a 25% discount. There are a variety of payment options available. Click pay now and we will finish the rest of these instructions at the latter part of our video. So stay tuned. So the S14 Flip OLED performs great, but is it practical to bring it around? Mabigat ba siya? On a practical level, it doesn't feel light. If you're of the age where you had to bring heavy textbooks to class for college, parang mas mabigat pa dati yung mga textbooks kaysa sa laptop na to. So this is a device that you can bring around pretty effortlessly. It does come with the standard freebie backpack as well now. And I bring this up because when I was working as a lawyer, kailang namin magdala ng laptop palagi. Yun, I had a really old Dell laptop that I would bring anywhere. Basta may out of office, kailangan magdala ng laptop. Minumura ko yung laptop na yan kasi ang bigat niya. <laughs> this is not that. This is portable and you can easily bring it around. This is not a break where lugging it around counts as your bench press exercise for the day. And speaking of portability, kamusta ba yung battery life niya? Now, this is really very variable because it depends on a lot of user factors. How bright do you like your screen? How many programs are you running at the same time that requires more resources from the computer? Now, I do tend to run the screen a bit bright. Why get a nice screen if you're not going to use it, if you can't see it? But even with that preference, I estimate I could probably get around 12 hours worth on a single charge. And probably a full day's worth on one charge if I did some common battery saving techniques. I never really stressed out the battery because for my use case, I would be out just for a couple of hours. Then I could get home and charge the laptop again. So battery life is decent and probably good enough for most of the use cases for the types of work that you would need this laptop to do. So far, it's been great. I No complaints. Two thumbs up, 100% for executing on what I primarily need it for, work. But as I mentioned earlier, I also bought it with watching videos in mind. That's why I got the OLED version. Frequent viewers of the channel know that I have fallen in love with OLED. I can't go back anymore. I thought IPS screens were great before, but after seeing OLED monitors, it's OLED or nothing for me. And if I'm going to watch videos, then I want it on an OLED screen. The screen of this laptop does not disappoint. The vividness, the vibrancy, all of the things that I've come to expect from a good OLED panel can be found in this laptop. And I recently got to try out a more expensive laptop, also from ASUS as part of their Pro Art line. So yung pang creators, designers, video editors talaga. The screen on that one was also an OLED and that laptop is crazy expensive compared to this laptop. Now the screen of that laptop was great, but it was just as equal to this screen. So two laptops, very different in price, but the screens are both excellent. So props to this particular laptop, again the S14 Flip OLED, for basically tying in terms of overall image quality a much more expensive ASUS laptop. So the screen on this laptop is gorgeous, well worth the additional expense of getting the OLED version. And you don't feel like you're losing out on the experience of watching videos just because you're watching on a laptop on a smaller screen. In fact, I found I'm watching more and more videos on the laptop instead of my larger desktop. Because with the laptop, you can just be wherever, on the couch, in your bed, and you can get into more relaxing positions compared to having to sit still in front of your desktop. As an aside, the speakers of the S14 Flip OLED are also pretty good. I usually don't have a lot of respect for built-in speakers, whether they're in laptops or in monitors. But the speakers on this laptop were loud enough and also reproduce the kind of sonic range that I would think is good enough considering that they are just built-in speakers. So in a pinch, if you're alone, please don't watch when there are other people. One of my pet peeves is when you assault other people with the sound of your videos in public. But you know, if you're alone in a car waiting for something and you pop out a video, you forgot to bring your headphones, your headsets, then yeah, the speakers on this thing are quite decent. Lastly on productivity, the screen is large enough that you can have two windows side by side with each other. 
So let's say you can have one Word document filling up half the screen and your browser filling up the other half. Perfect for multitasking or taking information from one source that you can integrate to your work in another source. Let's finish the installation guide of your Windows product key. After you've finished paying, you'll find your Windows product key within your account profile. Go to Windows Activator, copy and paste that key in there, and you are good to go. Remember to use our discount code HS20 to get that 25% discount. Now we've covered the basics, but there are two last functions of the S14 Flip OLED, which a lot of people would think are just gimmicks. And that is one, it's full flip functionality, and two, it's touchscreen. Now I've seen a lot of reviewers complain, why would you spend extra for these things? You don't need them, they're just gimmicks. Actually, I would beg to disagree. I find both of them to be very useful. Now Asus didn't invent the flip category, I believe it was Lenovo back in the day with their first yoga lineup where you could flip it all the way and it kind of becomes a large tablet. And the idea has just been refined since then. What the flip allows you to do is to use the laptop comfortably. Because of its form factor, you can bring the laptop in a lot of spaces, niches that you couldn't bring other devices. And the flip allows you to adapt to whatever space you're in. Do you need the laptop standing straight up completely? Are you more comfortable with it in tablet mode? You really can't tell until you need to figure it out. And you need to maneuver the screen to an angle, to a position that you find the most comfortable to wherever you're in. The flexibility of the flip means you can adapt to those situations. Whether it's super cramped in a car, spread out on a couch, crunched up in an airplane seat, you won't really think you need the flip function until you don't have it. And it's basically the same with the touch function. I found it super useful for scrolling, for reaching out to pause a video instead of having to look for the space bar. The touchscreen gives you more versatility, which is what you want in a laptop. Since space is at a premium, the more possibilities of interacting with the device, the better. The more contact surfaces between the user and the device, the better. So I found both of those features to be very useful and it really makes me appreciate the small form factor of a laptop compared to a bulky desktop. Finally filed away under the miscellaneous category, the power button also has a built-in fingerprint sensor which is quite responsive and accurate. I don't know how they were able to build in such a small sensor into that small button but it works and it works well and again it's not something that I would immediately think about but it's something super practical to have and nice to use. And that's been a running theme with my use of this laptop. There are so many features that seem a little gimmicky at first, but are great for usability, for quality of life as you're using the laptop, especially if you're using it for extended periods. So my only gripe really about this laptop is more about the software. Windows seems to be doing weird things occasionally. Like I booted up one time and then suddenly it's asking me for a recovery password because apparently my drive had been encrypted by BitLocker even though I didn't tell BitLocker to do such a thing. So I had no idea what my recovery password was. It's like na ransomware ako, but not by a malicious program, but by my own OS. Fortunately, after several restarts, Windows decided that no, I don't need to ask this guy for his recovery password. I was able to get back in and turn off Bit Defender. It has also happened once or twice that I booted up and it gave me a blank screen. But again, after several off and ons, it managed to boot back up to Windows. So the OS is doing weird things, but I don't think that's the fault of the laptop. So my laptop has a few ghosts in the machine, but I attribute that more to the software rather than to the hardware. Overall, I am super happy with this laptop for what I need it to do. I can write YouTube scripts and answer emails while waiting for my daughter to finish school. I can answer customer inquiries from the comfort of my own bed rather than being chained to a desktop. Now, this is not a high-end laptop. According to my brother, Rafael, for high-end laptops, you should be able to open the screen or flip up the screen using just one finger. The S14 Flip OLED does not pass that test. It's definitely just mid-range, but when you use the product, you don't feel that at all. It certainly punches well above its weight class. 
and that gorgeous, bright, vivid OLED screen is just a cherry on top to allow you to enjoy videos at the end of a long work day. Thanks for watching. Paminsan may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron kami. Full service PC store ang hardware sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.